All right, what's going on YouTube slash Future Jack? Cause nobody's probably watching these videos yet. Um, today is Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. It's about six or seven o'clock, and it is um the night before weigh-ins for our January 2019 maxed out meet so we went to this meet last year we like going to this meet um this will be the final video log of the weight cut kind of explaining what i'm doing um right i'm pretty i don't have a weight class to hit so i'm just doing this for future reference so the way the cut's gone is right after new year's so around like january 3rd or so I was pretty heavy. I was up to like 220 or so. And basically what I did from that point is I just quit eating like an asshole and just went back to my normal meal plan, which at this point in time is a lot of beef and rice. I'll have like eggs and a bagel for breakfast, a shake while I'm at work, and sometimes some fun carbs around the workout, like extra Gatorade or Pop-Tarts and stuff. So cut out all the extra carbs this week on about Tuesday so I did the last training session Tuesday night and the diet Monday Tuesday was something like eggs for breakfast then I would have a shake for a snack a couple pieces of fruit in there with breakfast and the shake lunch would be beef and rice 150 grams of each um, Pre-workout had the same thing, beef and rice. And then post-workout, I had the same thing, beef and rice. So it was about like 22 to 2,500 calories, depending on the condiments and salt and fuck out of everything, about 250 grams of carbs. So that was the diet through Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, what I did is I cut carbs from every meal. The only meal where I had direct carbs was my lunch at work, which was beef and rice, and that's just because it was already prepped and I didn't want it to go to waste. So that was the meal Wednesday. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was making sure to salt the hell out of my foods. And I already used a bunch of salty condiments like soy sauce and stuff anyway. So that's what I was doing. And um, on Wednesdays, things started getting a little bit more serious. Um, the only carbs I had was with the carbs with lunch, and then I was drinking a bunch of water. I drink a bunch of water regularly, so it was really hard for me to kind of water load without having a weight class to hit because I don't need to cut weight. I'm just doing this for practice for the prep. And so I tracked my water, and I was about, I was at around two gallons two gallons of water plus some more fluids with like coffee on Monday, Tuesday. Uh, yesterday, Wednesday, uh, I probably didn't drink as, as, enough, as, as much as I should have. I was really just kind of trying to avoid carbs and I drank a good bit of water, but it was more so just like by feel and trying to drink more water than I normally did. It wasn't anything crazy. And then, so that brings us to today, um, Thursday. So what I did today so far is I went home yesterday night, had a nice steak dinner with mom, Baja, Wednesday night, and then slept in today. So I normally get up at six for work today. I slept in until about like 10 and um, hung out around the house had a couple bottles of water, probably had like, I've probably had like five or six bottles of water throughout the whole day. I had about three, probably about four or five. I had three bottles of water and three cups of coffee before I started the drive. And the only thing I've eaten today was what I had for, for a late breakfast, lunch kind of thing, a couple hours after I woke up, right before the drive. So I had about one or two. I had two eggs, two pieces of sausage, and a piece of toast with some cheese. And that was a pretty good meal. Probably shouldn't have had the carbs. I didn't add salt to anything, but the, the sausage was pretty high salt, so it wasn't the best choice. But again, 
don't have a weight class to hit. And um, surprisingly, I'm not really hungry at all. Probably won't eat anything else until weigh-ins, until after weigh-ins tomorrow morning. Um, the weight, the weight has gone down about about five pounds. So, so before New Year's, I was hanging out around 215, 216 in the mornings. And then I went home for New Year's, kind of ate a bunch of shit. And I was like 220 after New Year's. And I quickly got back down after just cutting the cheat meals out and stuff down to like 215, 216. And then this week when I started paying more attention to my water, trying to water load and uh, decrease the food a little bit more, I was losing about a pound a day. And I woke up this morning at 211. So I was, I was 211 this morning, the day before weigh-ins. And um, it's gonna be interesting to see how much I weigh tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So I'm hoping to weigh in somewhere around under 210 just for future reference, knowing that I could kind of do my thing, bloat up during the heaviest training of the meet, and then pretty easily weigh in 10 pounds lighter than that. So, so like if I'm gonna be a 220 lifter, I could be spending most of my time training at about 220. And then, you know, those that lasts like three or four weeks before the, the week of rest, before the meet. So like the last month of the training cycle, kind of up things, up the supplements, wink, wink, and up the food, kind of gain about 10 pounds. That'll put me at about 230, and then 230 at like 10 days out. And then from there, the training is really easy. I kind of start tightening up on things and should be able to weigh in about 10 pounds lighter. Um, so that's my situation. So today, again, was just had a normal breakfast, tried to be didn't add any salt, didn't have a lot of carbs, just kind of drank by feel, had some coffee. I took some natural diuretics, uh, just this like little like sh water shred pill or whatever I have. It's got, it's got a little bit of dandelion root and uva ursi. So I think the total for today would be about like almost maybe like a gram of each of those, a gram of dandelion root, gram of uva ursi. And uh, that's the cut. We'll see how we weigh in tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna fast, go to bed. Mom gave me an Ambien. Um, probably just take that Ambien a couple hours, go to bed, go to weigh in, see what I weigh in at, just for future reference. Um, as far as, as Ben goes, Ben's been doing a similar thing. Ben really doesn't like cutting weight as much, but um, he's, he's heavier than me. He's about, he's like almost exactly 10 pounds heavier. So, so he was about 2.30 when I was 2.20. And then this morning, Ben woke up at 2.21. And we're trying to get Ben down to make sure Ben hits the 2.20 class tomorrow so we could be in the same flight. He's a little bit more worried about it. Um, so he was 2.21 this morning. He was about 2.23 when we got to our hotel. We got to our hotel at about 5 p.m. And uh, so what we're doing, we had a couple beers. We each drank three Miller Lights. Um, I don't know if it's the best thing to do or not, but I did it for my last cut. And I'm always, I'm always a bit lighter nights or the mornings after I, I drink. And um, Chris Duffin recommended in his weight cutting article that the last fluid intake he has is uh, two beers with some, some dandelion roots. So that's what we did. We're hoping Ben um, pisses out a couple more pounds before we go to bed, because um, we don't want to have to make them sweat. So best case scenario, a couple hours from now, it's about seven o'clock, um, Ben will be like right on the money at like 221, the same weight he woke up at, and then he should lose a pound overnight and be good to go for weigh-ins. Assuming our scale is accurate, I think it is, I bought a new fancy postage scale. Um, so that, that's, that's the weight cut diaries. We'll see how tomorrow goes, how the meat goes. I'll probably do a, a video as a meat recap, try to get something like this going so I could continue to progress as a lifter. Um, last year was kind of crazy. I did a bunch of bodybuilding stuff, 
lost a bunch of weight, um, then had some issues with the preps and it hurt my back again. So, um, don't have any crazy high expectations for this meet. You know, of course I would like to total a lot more, but I'm really just going to try to try to be an, be an intelligent lifter, be smart and pick, pick good numbers and hit, hit the most I can that day. Um, I'm hoping the bench over, over four, something over four, 412 beat Kirk. That'd be pretty sweet. Hit 405 in training. It was a grinder. So I'm probably definitely good for 402, 408, 402, 408. If I'm feeling good, will be my thirds. And if I'm feeling really good, I'll take 412. Squat, squat scary, you know, fucking, I hit 575 squat in the last mock meet I did in about October before I hurt my back. So my, but my best squat on the platform is 540. Uh, Heaviest I've squatted this training cycle, I took 555 for a single. It was pretty smooth. Um, just having a lot of trouble with the walkout, with the wraps looking really shaky, but the squat from what I was told looked really good. So I don't know how much more weight is there. Uh, I'll probably take something similar to that on my second and then maybe go anywhere from 560 to 584 on my third, depending on how things are looking. 584 would be great. 573 would be great as far as the total goes. 578 is an all-time PR, so 578 is what I'd like to hit, or 584. Um, that's squat and bench. Really having a hard time with deadlift. This next train cycle, deadlift's gonna be the main focus. We're gonna really try to bring out my deadlift technique. Haven't really done any deadlift training this year. I pulled a really heavy deadlift in about a year ago, in February, and since then i lost a bunch of weight to the bodybuilding stuff and then with the preps i was doing like a linear thing and i was basic i basically have done nothing but just like pull heavy since then no like volume work no speed work no technique work so that, so it's feeling kind of kind of crazy and uh i'm just going to give it my all on the deadlift as far as that goes my last deadlift session i missed 545 which is kind of fucking with me because i you know i fucking pulled 600 this year not be able to pull five or i missed 555 missed 555 this training cycle but i pulled 545 with the week earlier and it was uh it was pretty tough but i made it so so we're looking to hit a total pr um I'd like to weigh in at 208, 208 tomorrow. So it's 211 this morning. Maybe I'll be 208 tomorrow just because I'll be 40 pounds lighter than I was at this meet last year. So exactly a year ago, I would have weighed in at 248 and I totaled 1510. So this this year I'm trying to, I want to weigh in, uh, weigh in about 208. I don't really care what I weigh in at, but 208 would be cool. I'm not going to try to make 208. I think I will be somewhere around there, you know, between 208 to 10. So weigh in that. And then if I could, if I could, uh, if I'm, if I could put it together on, on game day, uh, I think I could hit about a 1550 total, anywhere from 1530 to 1550, really, really trying to just build a total. So not, I don't want to miss any big jumps in my thirds. I'd rather be a little bit more conservative and secure the small total PR at, at the lighter body weight and then go from there. So that's the plan for the meet. Um, pretty cool. We, uh, we're putting a lot more effort in this meet than last year. Last year, we uh, so the meet's on Saturday. Last year, we left on Friday afternoon at like two o'clock and we stopped, or we left at like around a little afternoon to make the five o'clock weigh-ins and only at a hotel for one night. So we left on the way to weigh-ins. We stopped at both Chipotle and Taco Bell on the way to weigh-ins. Kind of, kind of funny. But, uh, so we did that and we weighed in super heavy. I was like 248. Ben was, Ben was like a kilogram or two heavier. He was like, he was above 250 for the weigh-ins. We, uh, so we got put into the 275 pound class with the big guys. We didn't give a fuck. And um, 
yeah, so we just ate a ton of shit that, that night and just woke up and sent it at the meet. And it was a very good meet. Um, so this year we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm kind of trying to practice. I'm trying to pre use this meet as like uh, just gain gain more experience, gain more knowledge as a powerlifter. So we're 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 doing a weight cut. My cut's kind of half ass. Ben Ben actually has to hit 220, so we're gonna do what it takes to get him to hit 220. And we uh, got a hotel for several nights, so we we drove in on Thursday. We're gonna go to the morning weigh-ins tomorrow. Eat all day tomorrow. Have the hotel for Friday night. We're gonna compete on Saturday, and then we also got the hotel for Saturday night because it's gonna be a long day, so we don't have to drive back after that. So making it more expensive, making it a little bit more pressure on the line, a lot more logistics, and uh, just trying to just trying to practice like as if it was a travel meet. This will be us a better idea. So. Video's getting pretty long. We'll cut it here. I'm probably gonna go, maybe go to Kroger, get get a couple things for tomorrow, make sure I'm all well to well to fuel up. We'll, uh, we'll check back in after after Ben makes weight. And we'll, we'll see uh, see what he had to do to do that. Hopefully he's able to just uh, just to take take an Ambien, go to bed, and wake up on weight. That's uh, best case scenario. So until next time.